Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of I Wanna Know. I'm Enosh, and this is I Wanna Know. Welcome to the show. Hey, this is for all of those people who have questions. Let me be your human Google. That's right, ask me anything and I will answer it. No question is off limits, no question is too tough, no question is too easy, no question is too silly or too serious, okay? So uh, go ahead and keep those questions coming and you can do that very easy. All you gotta do is either message me here on YouTube where my screen name is Enosh Fett, E-N-O-S-H-F-E-T-T, -T, or you can email me at enoshmusic at hotmail.com, or of course you can uh, leave a message in the Facebook post when I post this to Facebook. All right, so it's really easy, it's really simple, it's fun, it's educational, and we can jam out to it. I guess it's not musical, but oh well. Let's go to our first question. All right, our next question came from a striper, uh, YouTube channel, Striper Fan YouTube channel. So I don't know if they were fishing for my answer uh, or what, but they simply asked, who is my favorite band, Christian or secular? Well, that's not an easy answer either because I like a lot of different kinds of music. So look, Striper is a great band. And I will say this, um, I've only seen Striper live twice. And that's both of those times have been in the last 10 years. So I didn't see them during their heyday, but I will say this for them. Going to see those two shows, I came out of each one thinking to myself, man, there is no way that they could have been any better even in their heyday. And that's a lot to be said because a lot of bands from that era you know, they just don't stand the test of time. You know, a lot of times the, the music is fine, but the singers, they lose their voice. They're, you know, they, they didn't take care of their voice back in the day. Man, Michael Sweet, that guy can sing every note. He hits all those high notes and uh, it's just awesome. And I got the full striper experience last concert I went to. I got, I was walking back in and Michael Sweet had thrown a pick from the stage and I didn't even see it, hit me right in the chest and landed in front of me. And I actually got two of their Bibles that night that uh, they're known for throwing out. So Striper is a great band and I encourage you to go see them if they ever come near you. But Striper isn't my favorite band. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that, um, I'm a big Petra fan. And I have been since I was 11 years old and a girl in my church gave me a copy of, uh, of uh, Back to the Street by them. I absolutely love Petra. Petra has meant a lot to me as a musician, uh, as a songwriter, as a Christian musician. Um, their songs are just great, you know? And uh, Bob Hartman, the founder of Petra, it just doesn't get much better than him. Um, and of course, I played with John Schlitt from uh, from Petra, so I'm a little biased. And still to this day, man, I still pull out Petra songs in church all the time, and we do uh, a lot of their worship stuff and a lot of their you know popular stuff. So everybody knows that I'm a big Petra fan, and I am and always will be. But Petra is not my favorite group. Think about that one for a second. Okay, so I wouldn't be honest in answering this question if I didn't bring up a couple of bands uh, that kind of got me started in music. Uh, one, I love Collective Soul. Man, Collective Soul is just an awesome band. They have got, they've got great harmonies, great guitars, uh, just great songwriting. Those songs are just killer and the guitar tones are just, oh man, they're just so chunky and meaty. But um, they're not my favorite band. One of my favorites, but not my favorite. Um, of course, Guns N' Roses. I mean, come on. Is there anything left to be said about that? Uh, I think that when you think about the quintessential rock band, you think of a band like Guns N' Roses, uh, Van Halen, you know? And yes, I'm a big Dave uh, fan. Is he the better singer out of him and uh, Sammy Hagar? Probably not, but he's the front man and he's the entertainer. And so I love Van Halen. Uh, of course, another one is Metallica. When I started playing guitar, I actually played a lot of Metallica songs. I learned a ton of Metallica songs that still stick with me to this day. Um, and here's a little uh, secret for you. Don't tell anybody. When I was younger and starting to play guitar, a lot of my friends would come visit my church. And what I would do is, you know, in that silent, quiet time, you know, when, when there's, uh, you know, you're kind of getting serious and everything, to keep my friends interested, 
I would play Metallica songs uh, in the background. Uh, so nobody else knew that <laughs> except for my friends. And they thought it was super cool and they kept coming to church because of it. So shh, don't tell anybody. So there you have it. Uh, there's just some of the bands. Obviously there's, there's just tons and tons of bands out there that uh, have been an influence on me and others. But I can honestly say that number one goes to this man right here. Now you might think that I'm cheating a little bit because the question was, who is my favorite rock band? But look, Weird Al covers basically every genre of music and does it well. Not just well, but great. Uh, I can't even fathom how much of a genius that man is. You know, when you look at his career path and that he has got the same band that he started with over 30 years ago. And on the last record of his album deal, he hit his first number one album a couple years ago. And that album bumped Bruno Mars out of the number one spot. Weird Al. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, the guy is just amazing. He, if you ever get a chance to go see a Weird Al concert, go because it is the most entertaining show that you will ever see ever i mean he's the best concert i've ever been to i've seen weird Allen concert three times and uh he just gets better and better i took my kids to go see him uh, my wife loves him we just all have a blast when we go and see weird al so i encourage you go see weird al he does costume changes for every song he's got all kinds of multimedia stuff going on he's in the crowd he's he's just doing all kinds of stuff and he's amazing and i'll tell you what they they do vocal stuff that that you just wouldn't believe at a weird owl show and his musicians are top notch i mean that band guys and when you think about it they have to be because of all the different types of music that they cover so um and you know it's not just the music that he covers he also is a great songwriter in himself uh, where he does his own songs. Some people don't realize that, that Weird Al doesn't just do his parodies, but that he does his own songs, two originals. So do yourself a favor, go see Weird Al. That's my answer and I'm sticking to it. Well, thanks for joining me. And I hope that you send me in your questions, whatever they are, it doesn't matter. It can be anything, funny, silly, serious, whatever. All you got to do is leave a message here on YouTube, or you can leave me a message on Facebook, or of course, tweet me at Enosh Music. Whatever you do, please send me a question. Like this video, uh, subscribe for more, and give me a thumbs up, okay? And I will see you next time and answer your questions on I Want to Know. <laughs>